Cindy, you just told me that your daughter is pregnant. She's a high risk patient with pregnant. She lives in Alabama and she's about to lose her insurance. And it comes down to, in the end, the Obamacare situation. So how does this, what's happening to her? We were told this past Monday that as of December the 31st, she will be no longer on my insurance, which we were under the health marketplace because she's 19 years old and she's type one diabetic. And she's in college. And she's a full-time student. They told us that she would, did not qualify under my insurance, that she had to go on Medicaid. Medicaid will not cover her, her high-risk doctors. They told me that when she went into labor, that I could take her to the ER at a hospital in Alabama, which is Mobile, and that the attending could deliver her baby. Um, they're talking now that her high-risk doctor is talking, saying that she need, well, she more than likely will have a cesarean if the baby's at least eight pounds, which that's what they're looking at. This is in less than six weeks that she is to deliver. Not only that, 60 days after after um, having the baby, Medicaid ends because then she's no longer considered eligible. The open enrollment ends January, December the 15th, which means she is she doesn't have any coverage, any insurance whatsoever if I don't take out an individual policy and pay full premium, which I cannot afford. Um, which leaves her, her diabetes supplies is $400 a month for insulin and $1,100 a month for her meals that go to an insulin pump that makes her able to live from day to day. Thank you. Oh, man. So, you're an Alabama resident. Right? I am. And she is. And, and is it because it's in Alabama? What would happen if it was in Florida? Would it be any different? If it was in Florida, she would be eligible for Florida Medicaid um, because of my income. Like, she would not be disqualified for it even after the 60 days of her having the baby. It's based on income. Alabama, you're only eligible for Medicaid if you're a woman, you're pregnant, you're over a certain age, or if you're disabled. And there's no solution to move to Florida to solve this problem. Well, if we move to Florida and and apply for Medicaid there in order for it to not only pay for her to have the baby, but also to keep her covered under insurance so she can get her medical supplies and her insulin, then it disqualifies her for student loans or, or uh, grants for Alabama because we live in Alabama. She would be considered an out-of-state student. Oh. She's planning on being a, an RN nurse. She's completely through as of tomorrow with all of her basics. She's been in college for a year and a half full time. So back under the insurance that you had before Obamacare came into existence, everything would have been under handled. It would have been handled till she's 26. It's only because she was pregnant and we live in the state of Alabama that they're bumping her off. Oh man, it sounds like they're, uh, like they said, this was a law that we needed to, re we needed to enact so we could find out what was in it. And I think now we need to just repeal it and start all over and come up with something that works. Well, with the insurance that we had, we have deductibles, we have co-pays, um, we pay a premium. It's, it, it's not like it's free. Mm -hmm. Like with Medicaid, you don't have to, you don't pay anything. We're not asking for it. Uh, we just want to keep the insurance that we had at the affordable rate that we had. I'm a single mother. I have been for 12 years. You know, I'm I'm putting her through college, just me and her. You know, and um, and now we're left to doing a fundraiser to try to raise, help raise some money um, to help pay with for for some of these medical. Okay. Well, thank you for letting us know, Mary. Merry Christmas, Merry and Christmas. here's the raffle. And here's the gift basket. Cindy's our waitress today. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Let's hope it's a Merry Christmas.